everyone and welcome back to the course for you, our amazing YouTube subscribers. Now, this video is very, very important. This is a very important lesson for you. And this could save you hundreds of thousands, even millions of pounds, depending on how much money you have now and how, money you, how much money you're looking to make, right? So make sure you take notes here. So in this video, we will be talking about how to pick the right broker and how to avoid the bad ones, okay? So, let's go over to the flip chart because there's a lot of things to think about here, but there are a couple of things that are very easy to do, right? And there is one thing that is very, very important and that is a website you need to go to before you enter any exchange, okay? Just do this, right? I mean, would you like to know the website? I'm sure you do, right? So this is the website. It is... It's Google, right? It's not that hard. So try to go to your logical corner and ask yourself, if someone presents an opportunity to you, make sure you Google it. Is this legit? Could this be a scam, right? So there's a couple of things to think about here when looking at a broker, okay? The first thing to do is to Google it, but make sure there are a couple of things that would be a yes, all right? This is a good sign, good signs for the broker. But then you also have the other one, which of course is no, those are bad signs. So you need to be able to differentiate between those. Now, I'm gonna show you like a few ways you can easily see if it is a scam or not. And the first one is, is it regulated, okay? And if it is regulated, then it is okay, right? It needs to be regula regulated by, for example, FCA, the SEC, this is the UK financial authorities, this is the US one, but then you also have the one in Cyprus, which is the CISEC, okay, CISEC is one, there's a lot of other ones, but try to make sure it's FCA regulated, very important, that is quite difficult sometimes to know which one are and which ones are not, but just go into the website, give them a ring, give them a call, and look them up on Company House, for example, write that down, Company house. All the companies that are FCA regulated will be there, registered companies, okay? Uh, but then of course in cryptos it will be a bit difficult, but that is for the crypto course, so make sure you go over to that as well if you are very excited for cryptos as well, because we think you should do both, both stocks and cryptos of course. Some other things to look at, so if they're not regulated, it's a no, right? If they're not regulated, then no. So this one here would be a no then. And if the other thing here would be, look at low fees, okay? Low fees. Yeah? So if it's low fees, why pay too much? So there are a couple of brokers that are really good, but they're very expensive. And you could do that, especially if you have more money, but when you're starting out, you would really like to have something that is cheap, okay? And the easiest way to do this is just to Google. But the third thing would be easy to use, okay? easy to use so there is a sweet spot there because there is a broker called interactive brokers now it's the best broker on the planet is one of the cheapest ones but is very difficult to use so we use another one which is great to get started with and we're going to show you which one that is but the number one thing is for it to be regulated so let's head over to the laptop here because what I want to show you here, if you go, just, I just found one, um, which is Cash FX, that is a broker. However, this broker, I don't, I'm not saying it is a scam, I'm not saying you will lose your money, okay? I'm not saying that. But what I am saying when I Google Cash FX scam, it says the first thing that comes up is brutal scam, Cash FX, FX group review. And even though it's not, would I want to put my money in there? Probably not, right? I would not want to do that. So be very careful. And if they make huge promises, it's also a red flag. So let's go back here to the flip chart because a couple of other red flags would be if they promise you huge returns. They say, you know what? We can guarantee you that you will make, well, I mean, anything. One, uh, one two, three percent per month, per day, per week, all right? So if they promise that, then it is probably a scam. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. 
if they would call you and say, look, you're interested in the cryptos, you're interested in stocks, we would love to invest for you and take your money to invest, they would not help you for free. That's usually a scam as well. The regulated brokers would not call you. They would not say, hey, invest with us. They would not say that. You go there because they're not allowed to. They can't sell their services that way. So make sure you Google, is it regulated? Do they promise huge returns? Then it's probably a scam. But just Google, that's the easiest way to do it. So that's really how you pick your right broker, right? You have to choose an exchange that is easy to use, is regulated and has low fees. I think those are very important. And hey, give them a call. Ask them these hard questions so you can really get the most out of it, okay? And obviously, in your trading club, we have brokers that we use. And if you would like to join the, the, uh, your trading club, please comment below. Comment strategies or click the link above. Uh, click the link anywhere around here and you will be able to see how you can join us and really take your education to the next level. But also, comment below what broker and exchange are you using at the moment? Which one are you using? And would you like to have some feedback from us and we can help and support you so you don't make any big mistakes such as I've made when I started because I didn't know about this. So this money, this money, well, this information could save you hundreds of thousands, literally. You would not could not imagine the amount of phone calls we get, the amount of emails we get for people saying that they've lost hundreds of thousands because they've been scammed. So let that not happen to you. If it, and if it has happened to you, make sure you learn from it. You can move on and use regulated brokers, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video and please, if you haven't, subscribe if you like what you're seeing so you can learn as much as possible and continue your learning and get notifications when we post new videos as well, okay? And don't forget to like the video so we can spread it to even more people and reach even more people as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video, so bye for now.